our next guest is a top flight comedian, podcaster, and one of the best roasters there is who's putting herself in the hot seat. Whitney Cummings presents the OnlyFans roast of Whitney Cummings, May 14th on OnlyFans TV. Please say hello to Whitney Cummings. <laughs> What do, what do us men do when we sit down with our blazers? Well, um, sometimes, we it? well, it depends on what? where we are in a, with our bodies, but uh, I'm keeping mine buttoned, yeah. I notice when you sit down, you don't do the thing men do when they sit down, where they... Pull the thing up? What is that? I guess it's called class, I, I think, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, are you, are you bouncing your... It's funny, I never the... thought about that until just now. That's all I think about. And now I'm gonna notice it every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I have to sit in meetings uh, with men <laughs> in front of me. They, they sit here. Yeah. They sit. Guillermo, do you do that? Uh, yes, yeah, I you do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> why? I don't, I don't know why. Everybody does it, all the guys. Let do. me see you do it. Then... Do, you, do you do it? Oh, I know why. It's to release some of the stress on the pants. <laughs> yeah. But do you... When you stand up, do the, um... <laughs> no, I don't do that. I, I only do this. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 he does it on the way down, <laughs> not on the way up. Anyway, sorry. Do you celebrate 420? Are you a, um... Nope. No, you do not. No, yeah. no, weed's not a match Not for, for you, why? Mm -mm. Well, uh, I don't know if you saw during the pandemic. Uh, during the pandemic, I took an edible, and within 24 hours, my hair was blue. Um, <laughs> and I had sketched out on a legal pad a tattoo that I wanted to get <laughs> that said, breathe. <laughs> I felt I needed a daily reminder uh, for an involuntary uh, action. <laughs> and then I was convinced that America needed to hear what I had to say <laughs> about <laughs> politics. You're blaming that on the edibles, yeah, huh? Yeah, I got on Instagram, uh -huh. uh, I opened and with, Hey guys. Uh, that's bad. That's which a bad is stuff. unacceptable <laughs> yeah, right. behavior. And promptly, my knees buckled. I went timber, as Kesha says, hit my head so hard I got a little egg right there. Do you is see that it? true? That's what that, that is right there. You see it? You were on camera when you passed out? No, I was off camera. I mean, oh. it was a funny fall. You okay. can't fall, you want to fall out of frame. Wow, it's, so that's not good for you then. Star. You don't you not trust yourself on edibles. Well, no, I didn't, no, 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 so that's, that's the end. I don't trust anyone on edibles. This whole town, everyone's on, it's true. everyone's on drugs, you guys. No, 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 this is, I, I, I believe, hot take, we should criminalize marijuana just, <laughs> just in Hollywood, just in Hollywood. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a movie that came out where Idris Elba was a cat and, and <laughs> someone had animated a cat butthole on the great Idris Elba, and we were like, we just let that slide. <laughs> and then, I don't know if you, there was a movie where Tom Hanks played Mr. Rogers, and no one noticed. <laughs> like, no one noticed. They rather focus on his Jamaican rapper's son. Like, uh -huh. that's, that's drugs. That's so you drugs. think that is, oh, wow, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, people are like, well, no, we want to we hear Chet hit this. That, our Hanks is Chet. That's <laughs> indica. I don't know what that is, but it's something bad. Yeah. Are you? And then if you're not on edibles, uh, you're on microdosing mushrooms. That's a big. That is a big thing. Are I, you also plant I'm not healing? Done that. No. A lot of, lot of, lot of Hollywood people taking mushrooms to heal the trauma of being millionaires. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough out there. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> So yeah, we're not doing we're not doing that. Tell me about this roast. Now this is uh, on OnlyFans. It's on OnlyFans. So the 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 you know people I know create OnlyFans. Like yes, people it's, think it's, I know. Yeah, I because... I too was a judgmental dork once too, mm -hmm. and I I winced at the idea of OnlyFans. But it's really just it's prejudice against sex workers, frankly. Which my only problem with sex workers is that they want us to call them that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like all sex is work. Like, yeah. what are you doing? And doesn't it? <laughs> How dare you? 
It's just that, like, because what does that make me? What, I'm a sex volunteer? Like, just like, <laughs> you're... I just, I'll call you whatever you want, but your term can't make me seem like I'm bad at business. Like, we have a pro we, now we have a problem. Maybe so. enthusiast yeah, would be... Yeah, can a, we what? go back to just, like, street trollop? Like, I thought that was fun. I was like, fun. There's something fun about, you know... Trollop yeah. with Venmo? I don't know. Um, but well, you're on this trollop.com now. Trollop.edu. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> it's very educational. So, yeah, so OnlyFans um, had his, has a TV side now, and, you know, it's hard to do comedy anywhere right now. There's a lot of censorship, like YouTube. Uh, you'll get taken out of the algorithm if you tell certain jokes. Oh, is that true? Yeah, yeah, whole thing. Also, if you see my comedy on YouTube, you have to deal with the 5,000 comments of everyone trying to figure out my age, which is distracting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come for the comedy, stay for the misspelled comments about my face. <laughs> and then... <laughs> TikTok is now uh, kicking people off for roast jokes or jokes saying it's bullying. Is that true? It's wild, because I, wow. I feel bullied by TikTok. I feel bullied by the fact that if you're on TikTok and you say you're polyamorous, you get 10 million followers and a line of energy drinks. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like you guys either, OK? <laughs> But then, remember, there was Comedy Central. Do you remember there was Comedy Central? The we did com And then it was yeah. just gone? Where is Comedy... Is it in cabs? <laughs> it's, it's still on during South Park, I is think. Is it wherever yeah. Dane Cook's money is? Like, we don't know where <laughs> Comedy Central went. You have to understand how stressful that is as a comedian, that your primary employer just disappeared into thin air, tried to find it. But your roast is your friends, Early right? Early comedians. Yeah. Uh, I think that's when it started getting mean, is when comedians started, uh, you know, making fun of um, actors and stuff, which reminds me, can we, have we adequately made fun of Jake Gyllenhaal's outfit yet? <laughs> I just feel like, I'm sorry, I just, well, is he, why is he, why would he do that? He, like, why? He made fun of it himself. Why, why, I don't think we've covered it. For, <laughs> I, like, why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's probably still back there. We can why? ask him afterwards. Jake, yeah. why are you dressed like Indiana Jones representing himself in court? <laughs> it's not a... Why do you look like the first computer? <laughs> um... Who is roasting you on this special? Uh, Amanda Knox is on my uh, For real? roast, which is wild. Amanda Knox, the, uh, acute, the woman who was acquitted of murder in Italy. Yes, she was, and she and you know I, I met, you know, during the pandemic I reached out to her again. I took edibles and made wild choices. Uh -huh. And you reached out to Amanda and Knox. I, I DM'd Amanda Knox and I said, "Do you want to come on my podcast?" Uh -huh. And um, you know, I mean, she's you know been in prison before, so this will. Coming on my podcast will feel very similar. And, um, and she was like, yes, but, you know, uh, can we stay with you? It's COVID. It was like the peak of COVID. She wanted to stay at your house? She stays at my house. Okay, I think she's innocent. I'm like, she, she's... A I also really participated in the, the, I mean, she was done dirty. She was done very dirty. I feel uh -huh. like when that was all happening, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just remember seeing her, like, on the news and being like, yeah, Put her in jail. She's pretty. I don't. I don't. I don't want her in the dating pool. Like, I kind of was like, yeah, that's that's good news for me. And um, and then you know, we're at a time where we're looking back and going like, oh, we kind of like just like you know, that was wrong. And I want to have her on the podcast. And um, she stays at my house. I've never I've never met her before. She's in my house. Um, we <laughs> sleep in a different room. Wake I wake up at like seven in the morning and I hear like that, 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 that. like I don't I don't that, I'm like is this like a woodpecker nightmare? Like I don't know what's happening. <laughs> And I go in the kitchen, and she is cutting tomatoes with the biggest knife I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Um, I, it's, it was not, it, I didn't, it wasn't, I don't know if she brought it. Like, I don't know <laughs> whose knife it even was. It was like, it literally, she was like, brrr, she's like, morning. And I was like, I think you're innocent, but <laughs> this is really testing me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and then Because I, what kind of a psychopath eats tomatoes for breakfast? <laughs> I mean, really. It was, by the way, she was making shakshuka. Do you know the dish shakshuka? Yes, it I looks do. like a blended up dead body. It's. <laughs> and. So she's a friend. She's a friend. Uh -huh. And then I realized she was really funny, but, you know, I, like, for example, I was, um, I'm a, like, klutzy idiot, and I, like, stumbled, like, I tripped on something, and she just went, <gasps> please don't die around me. <laughs> and it was so funny. And then. I... <laughs> Are you. Is any of this true? <laughs> yes! It was 
was so surreal. And you, everyone was so focused on my blue hair that they didn't realize I was I had a beta knox in my house. Wow. And then I realized she's so funny. And I was like, why don't you do? And she's like, I can't be funny because people think I'm being insensitive. Oh. And I was like, you've come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> I built a business out Whitney of that. Whitney Cummings presents the OnlyFans roast of Whitney Cummings. Yep. May 14th on OnlyFans TV. We'll be back with Boy Genius. <laughs>